I'm coming right along on this project. Engine and transmission are bolted in for the last time, I hope. Everything is getting hooked up. And today I want to make uh, the drive shaft fit. This is the original drive shaft that came out of the car. And it had a power glide transmission in it prior to this. Now it's got a 4L60E. And the transmission is a little bit longer. I'm going to try and use the same yoke. It's got the same splines. This is the, the yoke from the, the 66 Power Glide. It's got a little groove worn in it here where it was riding on the old seal. It's nice and smooth behind that. So what I'm going to do is just try and push it in a little bit further than, than it was riding before. Maybe about right there and then I'm going to measure the distance from right here where the front part of the u-joint cup rests to the same point on the back yoke here and that measures about I had 30 inches and then I'll measure the original drive shaft kind of the same same place and that measures about 30 and 13 sixteenths maybe 30 and 7 eighths so it almost is the right length I need to cut about 7 eighths of an inch out of it so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to shorten it on the back end here. I'm going to take 7 eighths of an inch out of right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut right through this weld and knock this off. Before I cut anything, I'm just going to make a couple of marks here. This is just for orientation purposes so when I put it back together I'll have this side of uh, this yoke end on the same side as it was to begin with and I'm just going to try and cut right in the center of this weld and I'm not trying to cut all the way through there's a little flange on this piece here that slides into this piece. So I'm just trying to cut down through this depth here. And I'm not, when I clamp down on this, I'm not putting very much pressure because I don't want to collapse that. Gotta keep going little by little until it'll crack loose. Okay, I can see a little crack forming. Perfect, look at that. Now I'll take a file and just clean a little bit up around that corner edge. And I can cut 7 eighths of an inch off of here, push this back in there, weld it. Okay, I've got this all deburred. Got this piece ready to go. I just took a file and kind of cleaned it down right down in the corner there. 
any material that needed to come out. So this is ready to go in. I knocked, had a couple of weights on here. One right there, which was thicker than this one, which was thinner, that went right here. So I marked them thin and thick and where they were at. Because since I'm only taking an inch out of this, I think I can just move these weights down in front of where I weld and tack them back in place and maintain the balance of this drive shaft. Um, and if I want to be 100% sure, I can take it to a driveline sh shop and have them balance it for me, but I'm going to just put the weights back on there where they were. And then when I drive the car, if I notice any vibration, why well, I'll pull it out and go get it balanced. There's a little seam right here that runs the full length of the tube. Maybe you can see it right there. And if you run your finger across here, you can feel it's raised a little bit. So I'm going to take a little burr on the end of my drill motor, this right here, and just clean that out so that when this yoke gets pushed in there, there won't be any interference caused by that little seam. And I'm just going to try and set this down on the ground. There's my mark there. So here's my mark here on this one. So I'm going to try and just get those two end pieces lined up best I can. Okay, that doesn't look bad. And if you're worried about me hammering on this U-joint, uh, don't worry, I'm putting new U-joints in, but I didn't want to put them in until after the drive shaft is shortened. What I'm going to do now is clean the bottom of these U-joint cups off real good. This is a half inch thick table I've got here. So I'm gonna turn these just like that. And I'm actually pretty good. Okay, that's, that's real good. So as long as those are both laying flat, that puts them in the same plane. So the drive shaft will be oriented just the way it was. I bolted the yoke on the front of this thing. So now I'm going to stick it in there. And you may be asking, how do I know I got my cut square on the back end of this? And the answer is, I don't know. I think it's close, but I don't know. So what I'm going to do now, after I get this bolted in here, is put a dial indicator on here, and then I can rotate it and measure the run out, and that will tell me how true it is. Okay, I've got a dial indicator set up, and it's resting right on the tail end of the drive shaft here. So now I'm going to rotate the drive shaft and I've got to get it adjusted to where I've got less than ten thousandths of an inch. I usually like to get it within one or two thousandths. So let's just see where we're at right now. Okay, we're way out around. Okay, so I want to I want to take it to the maximum. A 
which is about right in there. And now I'm just going to knock it right in here a little bit. going back and forth. One full revolution, so we're within about 15 thousandths or so now. Right there I'm reading plus four for one full revolution. Plus seven. That's one full revolution. So I'm within three thousandths right there. That's pretty good, I think. So now what I'll do is come over here and I'll just put a little tack weld in one, two, three places, and then I'll pull it out of here and weld it all the way around. Now I'm going to Rotate it again after I've welded it. Make sure I'm still pretty close. There's five. Okay, it changed a little bit. I'm uh, between about around five or six thousandths now, but that's still less than ten. So I'm, I think I'll be okay. And there it is, pretty much done. Got it all bead blasted, painted. I've got my new U-joints for it. I welded my little weights back on the back end here, right exactly where they came off. Since I only took uh, less than an inch off the length of it, I don't think I've altered the balance of it at all. So now I'll press my U-joints in there. Here it is, all installed. A drive shaft shortened in my home garage. Anybody can do it. Just gotta be aware of a couple of little things like I showed you.